Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we're going to be retouching this image using Mighty You see one of the best AI softwares out there you can use to retouch. Trust me, it's going to be a very interesting one. And in case you want access to the software, very simple, go to the video description. You will see a link there. Click on it and you'll be able to download it. And also through there, you can as well purchase your own credit all right so let's get started the first thing i quickly need to take care of of course if i'm working with photoshop is to fix these blemishes and how do we do that very simple so you come to the acne for the face you turn it on you notice that almost all the blemishes are gone now when if your object or your model has makeup on you can turn on your protect makeup so you notice that it's seen like some of the blemishes as makeup so you're seeing them as probably part of natural you know things on the face that doesn't need to go so i'm not going to turn it on for this one then you do the same thing for acne body do the same thing for body it's gone then you come to body blemishes and also turn it on so it removes it removes the rest of the things remaining on the image yeah so if you don't like the too much highlights on the face you can turn on your mat and it's going to tone down the light but i really really like it Another thing I want to fix is the back circle and wrinkles around the eye. They're probably cheek line and my smile line so that I will get a very beautiful porcelain face. I think that will be it. No double chin. I like the lip line. It's matty. Yeah, so the next thing we need to move straight to is the proper skin retouching. So first of all, do our frequency separation. So this is my frequency separation here. I'll turn it up. Look at that. Then you can decide to increase your high. You can decide to reduce it, but I like it the way it is. Then of course, we'll increase our skin refinement effect to just fix one or two, then increase my micro dodging and burning in case there are things we are missing. Look at the before, look at the after. Very few clicks. Then now this frequency separation down here takes care of the body. So this is one I'm going to click and it will immediately smoothen the skin for me. Not just the, uh, the face. All right. So the next thing is to increase details back because if you notice we are, the image is beginning to look flat because of the whole skin retouching. Then we have to increase the neutral gray contour so that it brings back that dimensions of, you know, shadows and highlights and all of that. So the next thing we need to do Probably increase your AI for face just a little bit. Then increase the brightness of your skin tone because I want it to open up a little and the same thing with the white. Then I'm going to come to this natural and click on it so that I get a very natural skin tone on my image, but it's looking too much. So I'll tone it down a little bit and we are good to go. Look at that. This is the before, this is the after. So few things we can do on the image to even get more better result is that we can go down to the body and click on the model so that it readjusts the body for us and gives us a more model like look then another thing we can do is to go to the makeup like if you look at the image it's having a very light makeup so we can decide to even import an entirely different makeup on the image using the set so let me just be clicking it so that you see the way the makeup is working see the way it's trying to redo the makeup of the face so you can just come in here before you get started and check out for new ones that complement with your image. If you see something you can use, then you are good to go. All right, I think I like this one, but we need to tone it down a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're almost good to go. So the next thing I want to do is to go to the dress and remove raincoats. So that we get a very neat attire. And once that is done, I'll go back to my uh, to my tone slider, increase the vibrance a little bit more. So looking at the image right now, I'm noticing that what we did with the what we did with the the model body thing is too much. The body reshape, so we need to also bring it up. So that we'll get back our original body reshade. Then I think I'll be needing a little vignetting effect on the image. So I'll go to my correction, should be there, or my details where. 
Okay, so inside my details, and I'll create a dark vignette effect for my image. Bring it closer to the midpoint. And here it is. This is the result. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.